Well, death from above would never be complete without my all famous uh, paper cutter choke. And for me, it became synonymous with my victories and competition because I went through like 40 some matches uh, hitting this and not just 40 some matches, but consecutive matches. I had a streak from purple, uh, from blue through purple, where every submission that I hit was just paper cutter, right? Uh, it became known as my black belt move uh, as I got my purple belt, right? So it's just one of those things where when I got into side body, when I could get a uh, lapel underhook from the side body position, it, my submission rate was so high, right? And I'll go to it in competition when it's given to me um, or when nothing else works. So typically if you see me choke somebody in a paper gutter competition, it's because I've exhausted all of my other attacks and or they just ignored the position and gave me the submission. But this is like my ultimate go-to. I'm exhausted, I gotta submit somebody, it's time to paper cut, right? So I dare to say it's my automatic, but I would definitely say that it is my highest percentage and um, I'd be, uh, be remiss if I didn't share it with you today. So the, um, the, the underhook is the best part of this, right? When I'm in side body, the way that I get to the north south position to set this up is blocking the hips, right? And it's typically because my opponent is bracing on me, right? And so he's pushing me down and rather than uh, you know, uh, succumb to his ability to retain guard, I go north south. When I go north south, I take my hand and I block the hip and I block the opposite hip, okay? Now, what I then do is I take the blade of my hip and I go down and I go on his face, okay? Now, he is going to determine which one of these other hooks I get. So as I go and I start to blade on his face, well, he's not giving me this side under hook, right? So I so I start to blade on the face a little bit more and go this way. And then look what he just gave me, right? Where I was blocking the hip, the elbow goes high into his armpit. I then circle around it. Now this is the most important detail. As I circle, my hip stays down and low to the point where it would take his face off. That's how low and how much pressure I put on this. As I blade the hip over, 